what's going on guys welcome back to clash with eric you know guys it's convenient to be so connected throughout the pro community because i get to learn all the new strategies right away as soon as they start to become a thing and get it to you guys right off the bat this attack is all over the place here right now at town hall 13 as soon as the update launched what it is is super wizards dropped out of a blimp into invisibility spells and a rage it's being called Blizzard Dragons, hence um, Blimp with Wizards, Blizzard, and then some dragons. So we're going to explore this in detail today, guys. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll uh, watch the rest of this attack here, and then we'll go check out a bunch more and see exactly how powerful Wizards can be when they're dropped deep inside of the base there and they're protected by invisibility spells. So after we take out the core of the base, which this one was admittedly super, super dense, and the more dense it is, the better. That's basically what we're looking for this. We're trying to find the densest part of the base that has a decent amount of value that we can reach with a blimp. We drop in the wizards and we let them go crazy. Then we just need to put all the dragons a little bit there and then we shoot them in. I used a uh, couple of lightning spells to zap out some air defenses here and then just some uh, quakes to finish it off. Two lightnings and a quake on each air defense was exactly enough to get through and then the heroes were going around the other side now the heroes were staying away from the cc that's why i didn't put them on the bottom side there to go funnel for the dragons and that way the dragons could uh, either fight the cc that came out of there or in this case it was a lava hound that never came out because i never deployed any ground troops in its range the wizards will pull the cc and if you do have a hound come out you do have to be ready to deal with it. And we'll actually show you some other attacks there where I actually had hounds come out from the wizards and I had to fight them off with my heroes. And I'll show you how to deal with that as well. So guys, let's go dive into some more attacks here and let's check this out. Let's, uh, let's check this out a little bit more. All right, guys, check this one out. So this one, we had the blimp drop into a tornado trap. And a tornado trap compared to a very similar attack to this, an electron would have been a death sentence. But with the protection of the invisibility spells, we have time for the tornado trap to wear off and then the wizards can still go get their value. Now, they did stop the blimp from going as deep in the base there as we would have preferred. So it didn't go all the way and grab all these expos like I wanted it to. And that would have been crazy value just like that last base. But it's good enough. So I do want to point out that with the super wizards inside of there, we have a couple of barbarians. I bring in five barbarians to try to trigger traps so that the wizards aren't dropping right onto a spring trap or some bombs or something like that. They're going to kill them, right? I want to have a little bit of a space there that takes a little bit of time to leave the blimp and the barbarians are perfect for that. All right, so then the heroes come in and after the baby dragon breaks the ring of trash, the heroes are pushed one way, the dragons went the other way and I had the E-drag out there in the open bundling it out now we do have a cc over here and i wanted to once again keep my heroes away from the cc the e-drag did die a little bit earlier than expected because of the teslas but it did get a couple of them down so it was all good we ward ability and rage through the inferno and then we coast into the expos i do a couple quakes here and then some lightning to take out the backside air defenses and i did i literally didn't get any extra value out of the uh lightning i took out the air defense and that's it that's all i got Imagine if we had a very customized army for the base that we're attacking and we could bring in very, very specific spells or find higher lightning value. This was all just on a whim here during friendly challenges. I didn't really have a chance to get a look at the base here and we were pretty much smashing every single base that we came against. The only bases that this was failing against was bases that had no blimp value at all. Like if all the defenses were packed right around the town hall and the town hall was on the edge of the base so I couldn't sneak a blimp anywhere to get the wizards anything of value, then that is how you're gonna stop this attack. So take away the blimp value and give yourself a chance because this attack is gonna start to take the game by storm. Let's go look at this one here. So this one has all the heroes packed in this top compartment. The sweepers are pointing away from it. We hit a black mine on the way in. We hit a tornado trap as well. And let's see how much value the wizards can get even though it was completely trapped up to stop this drop. So look at the queen. The queen's invisible, so I can't target her. So eventually the wizards had to finally turn on her and then they took out the defenses behind it and then the wizards started beating on the wall. So I had to quickly react here and I was like, all right, let's see if I can save these wizards 
before they get threatened by something else and end up dying. So the king came down and he ended up uh, going the wrong direction. He's supposed to go with the queen. But then I was like, all right, well, now I don't have the king tanking for the queen. So I'll protect her by sending in the dragons over her head and see if I can uh, do it that way. And then look at this wizard. The super wizard went all the way to the core of the base after that uh, crazy start and then pick out the eagle artillery and look at the the range on the uh bounces there he's taking out the teslas behind the eagle and that is insane then the queen unfortunately pulled the uh hound out of the cc right before she popped her ability and uh so the uh so the something went over there and killed my super wizard but that's all right that's all right we popped the hound we used the poison and we use lightning on the far opposite side of the base there to grab out the inferno there. Then I freeze up the final air defense and then we worked our way through. Now this is a little bit spell, different spell comp than we had in the previous one. This one is four lightning and one earthquake instead of uh, two earthquakes that I added in the free spell. And that makes so I can zap out an inferno and don't have the extra spells. If I'm going after two separate air defenses that aren't within a quake radius of each other, then obviously I want to go with two earthquakes and four lightning. But really, the sky is the limit on what you want to do. And uh, you can come up with all kinds of different spell comps there. You could even do it with bats, honestly. You could do... Yeah, you do have a spell comp for bats. You could do a drag bat of this. Like, seriously. There's a lot of potential here for lots of different things. We got to get creative, guys. I challenge you to go get creative and come up with different ideas to take advantage of the new blizzard drop. The blimp wizard. <laughs> All right, let's go check out another one. All right, let's see what we did in this one. So. All right, so in this one, I went after the uh, CC. I was trying to get to this expo compartment. I don't remember if I did. I think I might have got knocked back by the blimp and fell short, but we'll see where I landed. I did get there. All right, so that's where I was aiming for. And I was really hoping that I could actually get some shots off on the Eagle Artillery here. But look at that. The Wizards ended up killing the CC. There was an E-Drag that came out of the CC. We easily took it out there. If I had another invisibility spell there, we would have got the Queen. We would have got the Eagle. And pause it right there. If we were getting the shots off on the Eagle, which is what I was aiming for, the splash damage off of the Wizard would hit up to 10 targets beyond the initial target. That'd be one, two, the Queen, the Sweeper, if we had one more invisibility spell, we would have cleared out a huge section of the base. But I love these areas that I can drop into where there's only one tile away from the next one over the wall. So the wizards can reach over and they can hit it and they take out every building on the other side. That is what we're looking for, guys. If we can find spots on the base there where we can reach targets with the wizards and the targets behind them are not more than one tile away. They are, if they're two tiles away, then the uh, chains of the wizards can't hit them. So we got to think about that. But then we can just kind of go in here with the uh, heroes and the dragons. Once again, using the baby dragon to break the ring. And I don't remember what I did with my heroes on this one because I did a lot of attacks here when I was uh, testing this out, guys. And most of them were success. So <laughs> all the better, right? So, I believe I did some of my heroes on the bottom. So, once again, the heroes are going one way. E-Drag forms the funnel up ahead. I freeze up the Inferno on the way in. And then from there, I just need to get some value on the far back side. And in this one, I had the freeze and I didn't have two earthquakes. So, I couldn't go after both of the air defenses. I really had the choice of grabbing... The air defense or the inferno on the far left side there. I decided to go after the air defense and then I grabbed a Tesla. And I got a little bit of damage in between there, grabbing out the uh, Archer Tower as well. So using the Quake to hit as many things as there as possible. But I took out all the point defense on the backside and just coasted through the inferno. And it seemed to do all right. And it took some damage off of the heroes as they were making their approach as well. Because they're kind of working in tandem. All coming together here. The dragons take out the inferno. And then everything ended up breaking outside to the trash. They had to work their way back to the expo. But guys, it's kind of crazy, right? I keep saying that I had ones where I used the heroes to funnel, and I did. I just didn't with these ones for whatever reason. The E-Drag is just really, really nice to funnel with. I don't know. I like the heroes kind of separated. All right, check this one out. So this one, we had the Town Hall on the bottom. I tried to bomb out the Eagle. Rage up. Now, 
I would prefer to hit the Eagle Artillery, but if I hit everything around it, like, I can't target the buildings that are invisible. So you got to be careful if you want to actually chain off of one of the buildings that is invisible, that you might end up missing it in the end. But we pulled the CC with the Wizards on this one. So in this case, we need the heroes to kill the CC. And I wanted the heroes to form a little bit of a funnel as well. So I still used the E-Drag because there is a good E-Drag chain to kill an Archer Tower. So I took advantage of that. And then I had my heroes come in to funnel as well because there was a lot of funneling that was necessary down there. I still had the Lightning and the Quake. So I zapped out the Sweeper, the Air Defense, and the Inferno up on the top side of the base. They're using two on the Sweeper, two on the Air Defense, and then the Quake to hit all of them with everything overlapping out of the Inferno to make sure we got it down. So the heroes and the dragons easily power through that hound and then we charge into the base here. We still have a rage. We still have a ward ability, still have a freeze. And now watch this OP freeze. Oh yeah, look at the value on that one. That was a 200 IQ grass freeze right in the middle of the base there. And that, my friends, is how you get onto a pro team right there. With freezes like that, I don't know how one hive could ever not pick me for the team, you know? <laughs> Oh, that was pretty OP. But the queen still continuing on there. Staying protected by the dragons. All the defenses are down except for one arch tower. And another one is absolutely crushed, guys. Swag queen ability. Basically a swag freeze. It was a swag freeze. It was a pre-swag. We call that pre-swag, guys. <laughs> All right. So I think we're going to go look at one more. And then we'll call it a day. And I want to see what you guys can do. So if you guys have a cool attack and you've come up with something interesting or you've just done something really cool with this, then go ahead and record it and throw it up on Twitter and tag me. My uh, Twitter handle is at Eric one high. There's a link for all my social medias down in the video description. So go ahead in there and uh, drop a follow to all of them. All right. So this one, I specifically didn't make the Eagle Artillery visible so I could chain off of it because the Eagle Artillery has some high HP. And then look at this. There's a storage right here. And I almost took out the Inferno. So watch what I do later with that Inferno. I saw that it was weakened up. I was just kind of go a little bit impromptu here. Obviously, no time to plan during a friendly challenge. But the heroes come down and this is why we don't want the heroes to fight the CC and why a Hound is such a big problem in general. We don't want the heroes to get locked onto the hound, specifically that queen, because then she ends up uh, dying. Like that cannon just sitting there pinging on her while she fights off the hound, and then she has to get through all the pups. I don't even remember if I poison. I think it just, there's the poison. And then I pop my queen ability and then she died. So she didn't get the air defense, but that's okay. The dragons were on their way in. They were coming in the opposite side of the base and I had the lightning to help me deal with the remaining buildings over here that I missed. So I used the Quake to finish off some of those buildings. And then I used the Lightning to take out the air defense. Like the Quake finished off the Inferno that was already weakened up by the Super Wizards. Then I used the other Lightning and the remaining Quake to take down another air defense there. So this was back to uh, two Quakes and four Lightning. So, I mean, obviously... You guys can uh, play around the spell comp there. I really want to see this with uh, bats. So if anybody actually, uh, if anybody does this with bats and you want to be a uh, part of a video, then uh, throw it up on Twitter. I'm, I'm serious. I will put you in a video if you can send me a good uh, super wizard bomb or blizzard attack. Blizzard dragons, but I guess it would be a, a blizzard drag bat. So very, very cool, guys. I'm happy with this new strategy. I'm glad that Town Hall 11 has some new toys to play with and it wasn't just Town Hall 13 getting all the love. And if you think about it, if you're looking at this and you're at Town Hall 10, this will work for you too. This will work for everybody. If it's working at Town Hall 13, if you have access to a blimp and you can get some Super Wizards donated to you, you can do this attack. And it's crazy. So that's where we're going to wrap it up for today, guys. Make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And once again, if you want to help support the channel, don't forget to use code ERIC. And I'll see you guys in the next one.